So I'm not much for Christmas music. I feel like I get my fill of it just being out in the wild. Um, every year it seems to get earlier and earlier. Uh, definitely after Halloween now, it seems like Christmas music and decorations and everything is everywhere. And I, yeah, you're not, I'm not going to be the guy that's going to be able to run down like the top 10 Christmas albums of all time. I just don't necessarily uh, look to Christmas music. But there are two albums that I reach for and really enjoy playing. One of them is a classic that, well, both of them are classics. One of them is, is one that's been around since the 60s, and that's A Christmas Gift for You by Phil Spector. The other one is by a little band out of Duluth, Minnesota that's been around since about 1993, 1994, called Low, and their beautiful album, Christmas, Low Christmas, came out in 1999, which is crazy now, it's like 23 years ago. Um, it's they call it an EP but for me I, I would consider it more of an album it's eight songs it's about 30 minutes long four songs on each side it's a mixture of, of um, classics uh, Christmas songs that, that everybody's heard before like Blue Christmas and Silent Night and they do a drone version a really droney version of um, Little Drummer Boy and you know some of the songs are, are more religious but it, it definitely I don't think would isolate anybody who who isn't religious or doesn't look to um, music, uh, religious music around the holidays. Uh, it's just a gorgeous record. It's very minimal, like a lot of Lowe's music. It's not as stark and minimalistic uh, as some of the really early albums. You're not waiting for that next drum beat to hit or anything like that. Um, but it's just recorded really nicely. It's, it definitely has that feel of the holidays. They've done other things too. Like there's a song on Oh, I think it's Trust called The Last Snowstorm of the Year, which if you were making a, a mix CD or a mix playlist, um, you could have this, put that on there. There's also a couple singles they've done. Um, some of them I've I yet to check out that are around Christmas, too. They did a, about a year ago or two years ago, they did a concert in, in um, Minneapolis that was just Christmas music or probably 90, 90% of it. I wasn't living there at the time. Um, I, I lived there for a long time, but I w I've not been living there for a while and I was, I was not able to catch that. But um, all of this, of course, um, Lowe's music around the holidays has added importance this year because Mimi Parker, the co-founder, co-vocalist, unique drummer for Lowe, passed away in November. Um, so... You know, an already very powerful album is is just gonna have just gonna feel that much more powerful when when people play it over the holidays. If you have not checked it out, definitely consider it. Low Christmas, you can't really go wrong. If you're not really that into, don't really even know who Low are yet, or haven't really gotten into Low, it, it's honestly probably a pretty good introduction too. If you like it, um, it, it could be a springboard into other records. I definitely want to get into more Low music. I worked for the record label early on. I've been a fan since the beginning. Um, I followed them. I, they have a very diverse catalog um, of music, and I definitely want to showcase that and get into it more. But, but Low Christmas, you can't really go wrong. So uh, check it out. And the other thing to mention too is Low is is having a tribute to Mimi Parker called a very Mimi Christmas in Duluth, Minnesota, at a church on uh, December twenty first. And they're live streaming it, so most of us can't make it to Duluth, Minnesota, to be there. I can't imagine. I can just cannot imagine how powerful that's going to be because it's not. If I said tribute concert, that's not really right. It's not Duluth musicians playing um, low songs. It's people gathering to hear this record, which I, I just, yeah I cannot imagine being there and, and and hearing Mimi's voice and do this powerful music in light of her um, unfortunate passing away. Um, the, the other thing I think is interesting is, you know, in the, in the liner notes here, it says, despite the commerce involved, we figure, we hope you will consider this our gift to you. Best wishes. Uh, it, it does feel like a gift. I think all their albums feel like gifts now. Um, 13 albums, 14 if you count this one. Lots to explore. But uh, low Christmas. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you.